Hello there, it's me again, Marty D. Donovan, uh, the Broadcast Ninja. Don't you like that name? I should get a t-shirt. Um, right, I'm here now to talk to you about statistic relays, statistical relays. Now, in Sam Broadcaster, uh, it enables you to set up some relays, relay points, uh, which uh, then will let you know how many listeners are listening. Um, uh, looking at this station, this station I have running at this moment in time, this is on my test station. And uh, I have to say, I have to say, there's three people listen to it and the station isn't even on properly. It's just streaming, just just for the hell of it. Um, uh, but you can't see nothing happening here on the screen because I'm not personally connected to the stream. The stream is out there playing its auto DJ doing its job. Um, if we look uh, at my screen here, I go to B... And on B down here, um, I have statistic relays. And if I click press, um, I have a shoutcast statistic relay. I'll click on that and say, OK, this comes up. And again, I put the IP number um, of the station there. I put the port number of the station there. And I put the password of the station there. Um, here, because I'm running a version 1 shoutcast server i don't have to worry about an sid um so i don't worry about that and uh do not show on audio realm well i have nothing to do with audio realm uh so i'll click do not show on um, audio realm and then i'd click ok and when i click ok it would come down here and what that does is allows you to uh, uh have a listen to the stream if you look here um num it's on four it's on three of four at this moment in time it's there for demonstration purposes of course and you can see here where three people were listening then pop up went four and then pop down they went again and they carry on so that's what a statistic relay does that's how you set it up um it really is that simple and um, you can set multiple relays up for different parts of the stream or if you have three or four different streams running. Why would you have three or four different streams, Marty? Well, you might have a 128-bit stream running uh, and at the same time have a 64-bit stream running. So the 128-bit is for people at home on the internet and the 64-bit uh, is for those who are listening via their phones who need to save that data as best they can. Some people, to listen to your radio show, they, they have to uh, budget their data to enable them to listen to your show. That's why it's so important that you... Uh, you give them a good show. Uh, but there we go. That's how you do statistics. That's what they're there for. Um, I'm just thinking my... Uh, <laughs> you, you can't see the fact that it's bleeped up one because my name is in the way. But if I move that up, you can see where it moved across at three. Then it blipped up to number four and blipped down to number five. Like I could do that so it looks like it's making way for my head. There we go. The things I do to uh let me put that back in place down there right that's how you do a statistic relay uh hope that helps and i hope your sam broadcasting experience is coming along spiffingly don't forget to leave a comment to let me know like and share if you've learned something from this video click like or if you've just watched it and thought what a jolly jolly good show just click like. That's all you need to do. Thank you very much, Statistical Relays. I am the Broadcast Ninja.